The jig's up, you've been caught. You've been arrested for the crime you've been doing. You've been taken to court and sentenced. Put on the prison bus and taken to a federal penitentiary. It's there you'll spend the next few years of your life. But before you settle into your concrete palace, there are some rules you should know. These aren't the normal rules one may think of in prison. In fact, they're unwritten rules only inmates know. But you're gonna need them if you want to survive. I'm Charlie, and today we're going to look at unwritten rules in prison. Before we jump into it, why not subscribe and press the notification bell. Clothing Going into prison is not exactly a fashion show. In fact, everyone pretty much wears the same thing. But there are some subtle differences in prisoners' clothing, and it's something that every seasoned inmate looks for instantly whenever they walk into any room. Believe it or not, one of the first things people look for in prison is, what are people wearing? When you walk into the prison for the first time, everyone's gonna be sizing you up. But if you want to know what kind of person they are, you need to look at their shoes. If you see the prisoners wearing their prison flip-flops, then you know that nothing bad's gonna happen. They're pretty relaxed and are likely not going to jump you. If you see every prisoner wearing sneakers and boots, you need to know something is about to go down. You may not even be involved in what's going to happen, but you need to be well aware of the situation and every seasoned inmate knows this. According to former prison inmates, you will feel the tension if everyone's wearing boots and sneakers. But if people have just got out of the showers and they're wearing slippers and relaxing, then everything should be fine. Of course, it's a prison though, so you never know. No whistling. We've all seen the films where people working in prison whistle to pass the time. But this is purely in fiction, not in real life. Whistling inside prisons and even jails is looked down on. This is because whistling is associated with birds, and birds are free. But inmates are not, so don't do it. It could just be enough to set someone off and really annoy them. Whistling is said to be one of the biggest faux pas in American and Canadian prisons. TV Rooms in most prisons, there will be some rooms with televisions, but there is a very strict etiquette to these TV rooms. Large American prisons may have up to four TV rooms, and these are usually divided by the people who use them. Often, there's a white TV room and a black TV room. There's then usually a Spanish TV room and a sports TV room. Now, any prisoner can go to any one of these rooms. But they wouldn't, because it's generally a faux pas. That's because people have their set spaces, and you wouldn't want to disrespect anyone by taking their space. This means that white prisoners usually stay in the white TV room, and black prisoners do the same thing in their room. Spanish-speaking prisoners usually stay in the Spanish-speaking TV room, and the sports TV room is usually more communal, meaning that pretty much anyone can use it. You may think that prisons would not want the prisoners to divide each other up like this, but they actually encourage it. That's because they don't want any altercations between rival prisoners and gangs. They would rather have all groups stick to themselves and cause as little trouble as possible. This may sound very odd to a non-convict, but in prison, there are totally different rules. Prison Politics you may think that behind bars you're free of all politics, but that's not true. In fact, prisons have their own politics. Prison politics is also known as mob politics. This is basically knowing who the head honchos and old timers are. And you need to know this stuff because you don't want to get on the wrong side of an old timer. Each group in prison will have the guy who calls the shots. There will often be a white and black shot caller, and sometimes also a Hispanic and Native American shot caller for those groups too. If you have a beef with another prisoner, you may need to consult the shot callers first. After talking to the shot caller, they may say that it's fine for you to have an altercation with this other prisoner. But they may also say that that would not be good because of prison politics. They may tell you not to get revenge on someone or to start an altercation with another prisoner. That's because that prisoner may be protected by another shot caller within the prison. If you break the rules of the shot callers, then it's going to be you who's getting jumped, so you must brush up on prison politics. No staring. It may seem simple, but knowing where to put your eyes is a crucial skill behind bars. One of the worst things you can do is stare at other inmates. This could be interpreted as spying and they may think you're a snitch. Also, some people like to get into altercations with other inmates simply for looking at them wrong. But in prison, there's a big difference between staring and looking. You don't want to not be looking at any prisoner because otherwise you may come across as very weak. What you really need to do is try and look, but not stare. Don't be afraid to look at people for a split second, but don't make too much eye contact. 
It's really an art form that you'll need to brush up on when you're in prison. But the general prison rule is that staring involves eye contact for longer than three seconds. So as long as you're not doing that, then you should be fine and won't get into any altercations. Bathroom Rules when you go to prison, one of the main things you lose is your privacy. And one of the hardest readjustments is not having any privacy in the bathroom. Bathroom rules are one of the most sensitive things for any prison inmate. One ex-prisoner named Larry Lawton once smashed another prisoner's face into a concrete wall for not cleaning the bathroom properly. That's because his cellmate got pee on the seat. And they also left toothpaste on the sink many times. Everyone has to shave and get hot water from that sink. And everyone has to use that same toilet, so you'd better keep it clean. There are also rules for the communal showers inside prisons. Showers are one place that guards aren't constantly watching prisoners. That's why sometimes altercations and jumpings take place inside the showers. That's why a lot of the time, prison inmates will have their friend keeping watch while they take a shower. You'll need to arrange this before you go into the shower. This allows your friend to stand outside the showers and keep watch for you. Then if anyone comes to start trouble with you, they can give you a warning in advance. Also, much like the TV rooms, the showers are also divided by black and white. You'll need to make sure you're not using the wrong person's shower, or you could get jumped. Some people will also make prison wine in the showers. Prisoners do this by fermenting fruits and sugars in the hot water of the shower. It sounds nasty, but prison wine is one of the few luxuries prisoners get behind bars. No freebies. When you're locked up, you don't have much. That's why a free cigarette, soap, food, or a toothbrush from another inmate may seem like a nice gesture. But one unwritten rule of prison is never accept anything for free from another inmate. This simple gesture will put you into debt with that other inmate and they'll want you to do favors for them in the future. These are favors which could put you in danger, or even get you more time added to your sentence. So never accept any free commissary items from an inmate. The most common free items are cigarettes, soaps, foods, and toothbrushes. Chow Hall Seating the chow hall is where inmates go to eat. But much like in high school, there's a very, very set out seating plan. But instead of the jocks and nerds being on different tables, it's much more serious than that. You need to know which side of the chow hall to sit at. This may be divided by gangs or perhaps by black and white and Hispanic. You'll also need to know exactly what section to sit in. One former inmate named Larry Lawton said he saw a man get his life taken from him simply for sitting in the wrong place. That's right, just sitting in the wrong seat in the chow hall can get your life taken from you. For example, you could sit in the seat where the shot caller sits every day. This would be a massive disrespect and faux pas, even if you don't know it. So make sure you get the lowdown from your fellow inmates about where to sit and where not to sit. Snitches one of the biggest issues inmates face is snitches. Snitches are prison inmates who inform on fellow inmates to the prison guards. This is usually in exchange for commissary items or money, or sometimes even a reduced sentence. But the phrase snitches get stitches is very much true in prison. Snitching is very dangerous and you could lose your life for doing it. Snitches can often be found near the guards talking to them. There are also snitches called note slippers. These are people who will slip small notes under the guards' doors. This note could say something like, this prisoner has a shank inside their cell. You need to be careful who you confide in because you could be talking to a snitch. Gambling. Prison can get very boring. That's why some inmates will gamble money playing poker or dominoes. But one thing you need to remember is never gamble or bet money that you don't have or you're not capable of paying back. The risk is super high and you could lose your life for a few dollars. Pick your friends. Before you befriend anyone behind bars, make sure you know who they are. Most prisons are segregated, so keep that in mind. Also make sure the person you're hanging out with is not a snitch, or you could also be labeled a snitch wrongly. Also make sure they haven't committed a crime against a child, for example, or something else which makes them disliked by the rest of the prison. So those are the unwritten rules of prison to help you survive behind bars. Now it's time to make your voice heard. Comment below which was the most surprising prison rule. If you want some more amazing videos, then check out my second channel. But as always, thank you for watching. There are some more videos on screen right now. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to Top 10s.